Last month, I've made $300,000 dropshipping with one single product. And here's the exact system I've used, so you can just copy me. First of all, what are we actually going to cover in this video? Number one is I'm going to give you a full checklist on what a perfect winning product is, where you can find it, and a few very unknown methods that you for sure never heard of before. Number two is I'm going to show you exactly how to build a perfect Shopify store. We literally have conversion rates of 5 to 7% on our stores, which is ridiculous. And there's going to be hacks which you can just implement in your store and there's going to be more people who buy your stuff. Number three is how do you actually go viral on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube and basically make a bunch of money from that virality and I'm going to give you a full breakdown of how to make perfect content and these are going to be things I've never talked about on this YouTube channel ever before. And then lastly I'm going to show you my pay that strategy that turns you from a dropshipper to actually having a real brand. So this whole video has exactly one single promise. This will be the most valuable dropshipping video you've ever seen in your whole life. So let's start with module one, which is finding a winning product. Now, before I even tell you how to find a winning product, I want to explain to you one thing. It doesn't matter where you find it, all right? It doesn't matter if you find it on AliExpress, on Instagram, on wherever, it doesn't matter. The only thing which is actually relevant is that you have a list of 100 products and you can identify which one is the best. I'm gonna tell you where we do product research, but I'm gonna get to that a little bit later because again, what's way more important is how do you validate products? And this is, for example, something which allowed me to scale to these numbers. Just look at this dashboard right here. I recently started a new store and the only reason why we're able Able to scale it to literally 10k instead of 14 days is the winning product. When I saw this product, I could immediately tell it's a winner. We tested it, it worked, we scaled, easy. It wasn't anything magical, it's just that we see winning products at this point and that's what I want to teach you right now. So when you do product research, what's very important is that you don't get caught up in a product, all right? How we always do it is you need to find at least 30 products and put them all into one sheet and then be able to evaluate which one is better, which one is worse, okay? This is the sheet we're always using and this is something I would recommend doing for you as well. First of all, you put in the product name, the video link, the AliExpress link the AliExpress cost and the competitor store, very basic things. Just put it in so you always have it in here as a summary. Then we have a few very important criteria. And when it comes to the testing strategy I always use to people starting out, it's basically this. You test a product on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. You basically post organic videos. You start going viral and then later on you move it over to paid ads. However, to even make it work organically, you need exactly three criteria which are the most important. Number one is, is the product something which has the potential to go viral. This means by just showing that product, is there something interesting about that? Is there something controversial or is it so satisfying that people just want to keep watching the videos? There's just some products which have the potential to go viral and some others which don't. Number two, is the demand. Do people actually want your stuff? If you go viral, it's useless if nobody wants your thing. And I give this example all the time. There's this bag, it is like a 2D bag, which looks really cool. Like it's, it's very interesting looking and it goes viral like crazy. And it's perfect when it comes to virality potential. However, it doesn't look good on you. Like nobody would actually go out there and wear it. So it's useless, all right? Nobody's gonna buy it. You just go viral and then you don't convert. You don't need that. You wanna make money. So that's very important. And then number three is, did it recently go viral? Are other people currently going viral with it? If the answer is no, then don't do it, especially if you're a beginner. Now, obviously, you're going to be able to revive products when you're super advanced. But if you're just starting out, just copy the things which are already out there and you're going to make it work pretty easily. Now, one thing I want to show you right away here. One of my clients, his name is Daniel. He basically filled out that sheet. He found a bunch of products. And what we do in our program is we actually look over that sheet and we tell you which one is the best, which one is bad. What we picked for for him was these socks. He tested them, he made $50,000 in 90 days, and that's basically it. And that just shows having the eye for a good product. This is something we consistently replicate. And obviously, if you just do everything by yourself, you're gonna have to pick by yourself and you're gonna have to test a few more products until you find a perfect one. But now let me quickly touch on where you can actually find them. And then I'm gonna show you how to build a perfect store and go viral, okay? When it comes to where you find a winning product, there's essentially three methods. Number one is spy tools like Mynia, ads by a bunch of spy tools where they just list a bunch of products which are currently doing well on paid ads. Number two 
is the burner method, where you basically just optimize your TikTok and Instagram account to a point where you only see dropshipping products, and then you basically scroll until you find a bunch. And then the third method is just finding them on Amazon or AliExpress, basically on just like massive selling platforms where there's like millions of products out there. And then you just go through the listings and see what's doing good and what's doing bad. Really quickly, let me fill this out and I'm going to show you what is the best one. As you can see here, as a complete beginner, you shouldn't test any new products. As a complete beginner, you should shouldn't pioneer a product. You should just test what's out there. And for example, if you test a product from Amazon or from AliExpress, it's not proven on the platform. Keep in mind, proven concept is not transferable in between platforms, okay? If something is doing extremely well in terms of Amazon sales, it doesn't mean that you can test it organically and it's going to do well. If something does really well on organic, like on TikTok, it doesn't mean that it's going to do super well on Facebook ads, all right? Keep in mind, you always have to have proven concept specific specific to the platform, which makes it almost impossible to do any other product research except for the burner method where you just scroll on the platforms, especially if you do organic. So that's the thing I would recommend as a beginner. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can start doing the other things like AliExpress. For example, me, I have the eye for what a good product is. I look at a product which doesn't have proven concept. I can tell already if it's good or bad. So then it makes sense to test it even though nobody ever went viral with it. Okay, that makes sense because I know what, what's good and bad. Before you actually made money yourself from a at least like five different products made over 100k something like that then you can start focusing on these like more new methods no proven concept but as a beginner just stay away now for example my Nia or all these different spy tools i'm gonna be super honest with you a lot of people recommend them but the reason for that is they are affiliated all right if you just look at every of my videos i don't have a single affiliate link in my descriptions because i just don't want to promote apps or platforms that are paying me okay i want to make sure i'm completely unbiased i'm going to be able to always speak exactly what I think. And I don't want my opinion to be influenced by any dropshipping company. So whenever you see a person who promotes a platform and then has an affiliate link below the radio, just think twice and maybe understand it's not the full truth. I'm sure there's a bunch of good platforms out there and I also promote them. Like there's good softwares, right? But you can't be sure if somebody's paid by them. So what your action step has to be now is duplicate this sheet. And by the way, if you want this entire Miro board, you can just DM me on Instagram. Just DM me Miro board. I'm going to send it your way. And basically find 30 to 50 products, which you copy and paste into that sheet and try to identify which one is the best before you even start thinking about testing something. What I will give you right now is my store template that consistently gets me conversion rates of over 5%. Ask everyone. This is unheard of, all right? Nobody has 5% conversion rate. However, for example, in the store I showed you earlier, which we scaled to like 10K in two weeks, we have a 5% conversion rate here. I can show you one more store. It made around 900K. Um, it also has an almost 6% conversion rate. And I can refresh everything so you can actually see that the whole thing is legit. Um, but yeah, basically that's it. All right, let's get into the template. I want to break it down from top to bottom. 80% of everything happens on page one. So before they even scrolled, the drop-off rate is massive. You have to put in the most amount of effort into your very first visible page. How do you do that? Let's start from the very top. Number one is ad urgency. So something like fall sale ends then. Very basic information. However, here's a little pro tip, which is if you add one sentence, everything is going to do a little bit better. And it's check back in... April, if we are out of stock, basically you consistently add the, the next month and you make sure that it actually looks like you're almost about to run out of stock. The app is essential countdown timer bar for this. The second thing here is on the top, you add a trust element, which is just an email. So people understand they easily can contact and it looks very good. Below that, you're going to have social proof. It's very important that you have that on top. Um, we always use the app looks. Then you have an offer and it always has to contain something that is free, all right? This is a secret. Nobody uses this. And you always, on every single of your product pages, have to have something for free. I can show you one thing. You're probably not going to understand. However, let me explain. There's an app out there which is called Intelligems AB. And it basically lets you split test product pages. So you have 
50% of your traffic go to one page and 50% onto another, okay? This is the result we saw with one of our stores. Um, basically, we added no free gifts whatsoever on one of them and had a 5% conversion rate. And then we added a bunch of free gifts and it jumped up drastically to 7%. This is something you're going to get if you add free gifts. On the picture, have free stuff. Here, have free stuff. And make sure you take your product and split it up. You have this product right here. And there's always like three, four elements to the product. Make sure that you only sell the core product and then everything else is a free gift bonus, if that makes sense. Next, and that's also very important, you have to always have bundles. Always, literally always, you have to have bundles. If they buy more, they get a discount, all right? Free shipping, more percentage off, whatever. So you, you can either use white bundle or bundle bear. Both of them are great. Again, I'm not affiliated by anyone. I'm just like, recommending the apps because I personally use them. One more thing I want to mention here for the offer, buy one, get one free is a money printer, all right? Buy one, get one free is so good because you literally get the feeling that you get something for free. And what you literally do is just double the price and give one for free in the price of two and everybody instantly has to buy two and it just works better, okay? This is something which, again, can literally change your entire business, just changing one little offer to something like this. And we also tested out something which is called buy one, get five free, buy one, get six free. If you have a product which has like a massive bundle that just makes sense. For example, with these reusable water balloon things, it obviously makes sense to have like 10 because you're going to have like a water ball fight or whatever it's called. You need multiple, all right? What you can do is you can sell a pack of 10 and a pack of 20 and a pack of 40. Or you can say, buy one, get nine for free. Buy five, get 20 for free. Something like that, where they get massive gifts and every single time your conversion rates are going to be higher, always, no matter what. And one more thing I've written down here, which is very, very true. Urgency works all right if people have these count on timers a lot of people are going to tell you yeah it doesn't work anymore it's only something that worked in 2018 everybody who says that is broke this for sure 100 works for a fact we've tested it what we also usually do is have like three bullet points here on top fast shipping 30-day trial easy returns something along the lines like the main concerns which people could have we just put them on and then one little tip for the reviews we always have one review here and the structure of that review is always the same Okay, you find out what the main problem is which people have with that product. Like, what's the main objection which people would have when they see the product? And you basically do this I had problem X, and now I have the dream outcome. You're selling resistance bands, and you're gonna say, I've always had a bunch of resistance bands, and every time I, I stretch them, they rip apart, or every time I use them, they leave like purple stains on my, on my hands. This is the very first resistance band which I'm actually using, which doesn't rip and doesn't leave the stains on my hands. This is a thing which, if that's a concern, if somebody already had resistance bands and they ripped, that's gonna be the selling point, because that's the only thing which stops them from buying from your store. This is very, very valuable. Always make sure you understand what the main objections of your customers is. Now, one more thing I want to mention is this picture right here is very, very important. Okay. It's very important to have a good picture. And a golden rule is a GIF as the first picture is always better than a picture, unless your picture is better than your GIF. If you just generally start out and you kind of suck at like design and stuff, just Add a GIF, it's most likely going to be better than a picture. In very rare circumstances, extremely good pictures can be better than GIFs, okay? So if you're not extremely good, rather put a GIF just to make sure. And when you do the pictures, we always do them on Canva, so that's the thing I would recommend you doing too. After the very first scroll, I'm only going to go over the most important parts here because this is not that relevant anymore. Like people make the decision based on the very first part. They usually scroll to the very bottom and basically look at the reviews, etc. And that's it. So the main part of your website usually just makes like a 5% impact if it doesn't completely suck. The only really relevant thing is your very first headline here. And um, this is very important. Ideally, this is something what we do is join thousands of whoever the niche is, parents, whatever, gardeners, who are, and then you insert your dream outcome. With this one, I don't even like this one, who are unlocking their little one's voice. It's whatever. Now, all of these things are small pro tips, and they will make a little difference, but it's not going to be crazy. If you want this Myro board, just DM me Myro board on Instagram. I'm going to send it your way. I'm not going to go over this in this video because this is like... 
again, this is not that relevant, or you can just pause the video and look. But I just want to save your time because it's not that important. Next is the end of the page, and that is very important, having proper reviews here. And again, the framework I showed you earlier, make sure you understand what your objections are and always handle the objections, not on your website only, but especially in the reviews. I thought this is going to happen. However, I was surprised this happened. This is the type of review you want. As a general rule, I'm going to explain to you where people trust the most. So for example, in the comment section on TikTok or on your Facebook ad or wherever you're, you're promoting your product, in the comment section, people fully trust the comment section. Like if there's somebody like saying, I bought this is actually insane, that's a very trustworthy comment. If it's a review on your website, it's a little less trustworthy, but it's still, it still works. And then the worst thing is the website itself. Like that's the least trustworthy thing ever because people usually understand you want to sell and it's not proven. So who knows? The ideal scenario is obviously like having celebrity promotions and people who are generally known in the niche who are leaving a review. And I've seen like a bunch of people faking that and that increases conversion rate. However, obviously that's not really ethically good. So that's just like a brief overview for everything you need to know about the website. Now let's go into the module three, which is how do you truly go viral? Like the concepts I'm going to show you here are going to be pretty crazy. And I'm going to break down a lot of new things to you, which I'm sure you didn't know yet. Let's start with why you even should start with organic marketing. I'm going to keep this very short because I want to dive deep into how to actually go viral, how to make perfect content. But what is so good about organic marketing? Well, you don't need budget at all. You can literally start for free. You just buy the product, start filming, done. All right. Your learning curve is ridiculous. What we've seen is the moment you actually start having the skill of just making really good videos, you can transfer that everywhere. You need to understand Facebook ads is literally 90% videos. You actually learn marketing when you do organic dropshipping. When you do Facebook ads, you can get away with just copying from somebody else. You just copy their stuff and it kind of works and that's it, okay? You don't understand what's going on. You just test something and it works or it doesn't work, whatever. Even if you make money on Facebook, you don't really know how to do marketing. You don't have that skill. With organic, you truly learn the skill of virality, of real marketing, okay? So that's something which is so valuable. It doesn't matter how you use it. If you have extreme virality, you can use that to your credibility. You're literally going to be able to either work for other people, get huge job opportunities. Everything is better if you have the skill of marketing. Next is the success chances on organic are much higher. Trust me on this one. There is a success chance, which is so little dependent on luck. All right. It's literally just, you put in more work, you make more money. You put less work, you make less money. It's all depending on you, which drastically increases the success chances. There's no real issues like Facebook ads or TikTok where you just like get blocked or the algorithm doesn't like you and you test 20 products and nothing works and you're basically out of budget, okay? With organic, even if the algorithm has an issue with you, you don't run out of budget. You can just keep going and then you make it work eventually because even if the algorithm hated you and you didn't go viral, you still learned the skill of going viral and then you transfer that to a good account and you instantly blow up. So that's just something which I've seen for beginners. So many more beginners make it work with organic than paid ads. Then the profit margins are 50 to 70 percent. It's unheard of with paid ads. It's just not possible. Nobody does it and it's better. Okay. The only downside is scale. All right. Scale is not doable with organic only. We have people who made millions of dollars with organic dropshipping, but it's way more rare to actually do that on that scale. You can make multiple six figures and very consistent 10k profit per month with organic but scaling it to like 100 to 300k profit per month is very 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 rare and that's why we have a paid ad strategy to actually get to the next level because it just makes sense to do it at that level and it's just so much easier because just think about it you have the skill of organic you out compete everyone on the platform nobody on facebook and believe me when i say this i know i if we talk to hundreds of dropshippers nobody who does facebook ads is capable of filming a video they are incapable the only thing they do is buy ugc from fiverr and copy other people's stuff. They just download videos from others and then just change up the clips and that's it. It's the only thing they can do. They don't know how to go out there and film something 
really good. And this is the advantage we have on paid ads. We crush everyone because we have creators in our organic program who just make videos which outcompete the entire marketplace. All right, so the question you probably ask yourself now is how do you actually go viral? Well, let's go through everything you need to know with virality. Let me first of all show you a very, very good video and then show explain to you the concept behind it. Okay, so it is this one. So ask yourself why this video went viral. Well, the main thing here is it's because it's very emotional, okay? Now there's different types of videos and a bunch of different reasons why something can go viral, but what we've seen is specifically emotional videos tend to go viral really easily. And I'm gonna give you a bunch of other formats in a second, but this is generally how it goes, okay? You have a few things at the same time. You have a text hook and a visual hook, and the text hook in the first like 3.5 seconds of the whole video, you understand what's going on. I'm sorry I drank the water too fast. I'm just thirsty mommy. This is basically like dogs can die from drinking too much water. And this like relates to that. And basically every person who has a dog is definitely going to feel some sort of emotion with this. And there's a very smooth transition, not only with the music, but with everything combined to showing the product. Okay. This product is already very emotional because obviously people have very strong connection with their dog and this just showcases it very, very well. Now, I'm gonna give you a full hook masterclass in a second, which is in this talk right here. I'm gonna talk about the main part first. There's two things which are done here. The main goal is establishing a connection with a viewer in terms of emotion. And the second thing is just showcasing your product in a way that this product is high quality, it's a really good product, everything about the product itself is actually good and not only the idea behind the product. And then obviously, the end of the video, there's again a very smooth transition with a song, with everything, and there's a payoff in terms of dopamine, okay? People watched your video to get as much dopamine as possible. And obviously there's different types of dopamine rushes where you can start laughing or get super emotional, but you basically get something from it. So in this case, the song and the sentimental message was basically perfectly lined up and that's why it did so well. Now let me show you a video which is completely opposite from this, but it worked extremely well and I'm gonna to explain to you why. So on the first glimpse, this looks like a very basic video. You just like, there's nothing happening whatsoever, but that's not the case. This video went viral for a bunch of reasons. Number one, the whole setup was done very, very well. The sound, the visuals, everything was just lined up to speak to people who basically pray and or start praying. And then this is basically a helpful thing for them. It was also posted during Ramadan, which makes everything almost seasonal. Like there's obviously going to be way more people interested in the topic during that time period. And then one thing which always will make your videos go viral is controversy. Controversy is the key to your videos almost always. If there's just something about your video which is somewhat controversial, and in this case it was not only the video, but it was actually the comments. One of the top comments was something along the lines of Prey Station 5. A bunch of people thought it's funny, a bunch of people thought it's super offensive, and they basically started fighting and arguing in the comment section, which is the best thing which can ever happen to you because your video blows up like crazy. Always keep in mind, whenever people are watching the comments, the video keeps playing in the background. It keeps playing, it keeps playing. So that means that every single like comment battle is really beneficial to your watch time. Now, controversy can be done in a bunch of different ways. For example, you can wear a suit and then there's a tag hanging out and everybody's gonna comment how there's a tag hanging off your suit. Like you didn't rip off the price tag thing off, off the suit. You can just have mo small minor details about the video, which makes sense. And if you wanna take that to the next level, what you need to do is you need to take controversy and make it only relevant for your niche. Only people in your niche will understand what's going on. For example, I've seen this guitar pick product and people didn't really play the guitar, but there was a guitar voiceover. Okay, so it looked almost good, but people who are playing the guitar could right away tell that it's not real. Only people who are playing the guitar can tell, which makes them stop scrolling, they watch the video, they look at the comment section, they start commenting, and it starts going viral 
in the guitar niche because you did something bad for the guitar niche. So every time you add controversy, which only your niche understands, that's dream scenario. That's the perfect type of controversy because not only you go viral, you go viral to the right people. And obviously then you make the most amount of money. And one of my students, Mikey, again, he literally made a bunch of money from exactly this guitar pick just because he did exactly that controversy. Because keep in mind, you don't care about views. What you actually care about is money. And if you go viral in the wrong niche, you're not going to make money. So make sure that you go viral in the right niche. And if you use controversy the wrong way, where you do something weird, like putting a dick joke in your video, it's not going to go viral in the right audience. It's going to be some like a bunch of kids which are going to think it's funny. And then you don't, you, you completely miss all the sales. So make sure to never do that. Let's get into the hooks. Let me give you a couple of hacks, which make your hooks just 10 times better. Okay. First is tension. Just look at this and you're going to instantly understand what I'm talking about. No, I'm at a free fall, but a fall, so... Okay, so for those of you who don't know anime, basically Nanami is some anime character. People who know that character are going to want to see the character because it's obviously relevant. So the person, so, so you basically see a thing and he's about to turn it, and then the comment says, with Nanami. This adds tension. You want to see what it is. Like, how is it going to look with Nanami, right? And then you, after a few seconds, you actually see the thing. This is called tension, and it just keeps people engaged. And I guarantee if you do these things right, people are going to watch longer always. And that can also be achieved with music choice. Let me show you this. <laughs> Do you see how it's a build-up? Like the visuals, everything is great, all right? However, the music is building up to something in a few seconds. You don't exactly know what's gonna happen, but you can clearly tell the song has like a drop. So that means that you have to wait until the drop so things make sense. So these are literally instant hacks to just go viral right away. And obviously what's very important is that the music and the visuals align really well. Let me show you an example. So this is a very cute emotional video and it just makes sense to have exactly that thought song in there which is like very slow pace the otter is like breathing and it's very slow and everything just makes sense and it aligns really well and it just fits well And same thing here, you just have the transition, it's just like, it, everything just works well together and you can tell that something is about to happen. You just can tell that it's good. In some cases, your video is literally only gonna go viral because of this song. Just watch this and you're gonna understand. Come over here, come over here. Check out my new shoes. They're the brand new one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, buckle some more. This is just so entertaining right away just because of the song and you want to keep watching the thing because of it. So that's that when it comes to tension and music and all these things, very important, okay? Second thing is the text hook. And let me show you an example of a really good text hook which just hooks people just with a sentence. This video would have been 10 times worse without this text, all right? Warning, bug dance. And then people just wanna know what the warning is about. And it's like a stupid little thing, but actually works really well. The last thing I wanna show you is visual hooks, all right? The visual is obviously also very important. And if you just combine everything I just told you, then you will go viral. Now, this is very good. It's like you have frostbites, it looks crazy, people want to keep watching, and then you show the, the, the heated gloves, right? This makes sense. This is great, perfect visual hook. And then obviously also people just want to see how that happens. So it's just a great visual hook overall. So this is also great because instantly something happens. There's very strong movement here that he shoots it right away, literally first second, and that's great, okay? you He could have also waited three seconds and then shot it, and then the video would have 10 times worse. Now, the only thing that is problematic with this video is that because they shot it instantly, you already like reveal the product. There's no surprise element anymore, which makes it worse. So you can also add a lot of movement, etc., in these things without revealing the 
product. So make sure that you do that the right way. Now, let's go back to our little Miro board over here. I think this is covered pretty well. I want to talk about your accounts generally. The algorithm matters. If you want to learn how to do everything right in terms of the algorithm to just not get shadow banned, target the US without being in the US, all these things, just DM me VPN guide on Instagram. I'm going to send everything your way as well. Um, that's going to be covered. Now, when it comes to the accounts generally, how it usually will happen is in the beginning, nothing goes viral. So here on this account, the first viral video was only after posting 14 videos, which is fine. Okay, very normal. Don't get emotional if your first 10 videos don't go viral. It's not a problem at all. Sometimes even longer. So then with the regular accounts, you're going to have cycles. Okay. This is a very normal account cycle. In the next around 30 videos here, there was three viral videos, which is great. Not every video here is, is going to go viral. After that, a lot of people just stop posting because they feel like nothing is going viral. But that's a completely wrong decision because you're about to hit the virality cycle. And if you stop, you're not going to make any money off it. So right before the viral cycle, cycle, it's very common to see like very consistent 10k views or even more. Okay. And then at some point you're actually going to get to that viral cycle. And here on this account, for example, out of 25 videos, 13 went viral. So almost everything. And my point here is consistency is key. That's just, it's just the most important part when it comes to organic. It's totally fine to not go viral. Sometimes it's just going to happen. It's part of the game. All right, so module four is going to be scaling. This is going to be a little more advanced and we're going to get very, very deep into what a really good ad is, how to make paid ads work, etc. First of all, where should you start running ads? There are three things which is important when you do ads. Beginner friendliness, how much you can scale it and how consistent it is. When it comes to Google ads, they are extremely advanced. The only moment where you can actually make a lot of money from Google ads is you already have a brand. It's working really well. And a lot of people are searching for your product name after seeing your ads or you're going viral, etc. Okay. They search for your product name or your brand name, and then you don't show up on the very top on Google. And then somebody else makes the money instead of you. And basically then you have a Google search campaign. So if somebody types in your product name, you're going to be the number one person to pop up. All right. It is extremely difficult and very annoying to set up, very beginner unfriendly. You cannot really scale with it. However, it is extremely consistent. All right. Once you make money with Google ads, they just work forever. Now, am I saying you can't scale them under no circumstances? No, they're definitely scalable, but very, very difficult. I almost don't know anybody who actually is able to. Facebook ads is also beginner unfriendly. If you're just starting out, I would not recommend just starting with Facebook ads. However, if you figure them out, you can scale like crazy, all right? You can make a lot of money on Facebook ads and also be very consistent for a very long period of time with Facebook ads. Because once you have the system of testing a bunch of creatives, having really strong accounts set up, you just keep making money forever. When it comes to TikTok ads, they are extremely beginner friendly, all right? Very easy to set up. It's very native. You understand exactly like what to do, etc. The only catch is you're never going to make money with them. Like you're, you're not going to be profitable whatsoever, for sure. 100% you're not going to make consistent money because TikTok ads suck. They're horrible. All right. You can scale for sure. And they're extremely inconsistent. Again, this is something I can tell you from experience. I know probably over a thousand dropshippers. All right. I know one guy who makes decent amount of money in profit per year with TikTok ads. Like nobody is making real numbers there. Some people can show you a flashy dashboard, like a 10K day, 5K day, whatever. One day doesn't count, all right? You need to consistently make money on a yearly basis, every month, consistent profit. They do just doesn't work. So what I can tell you from my experience is the number one spot for ads is Facebook. By far the best thing you can do. So this is the king of paid ads. Let me show you a really good creative on Facebook ads. Let me show you a perfect video. I'm going to put it a little faster so we don't waste time. This is how we cured our non-verbal toddler speech delay. My kid has always struggled to speak and was diagnosed as non-verbal. We tried speech therapy, early intervention, school programs, but nothing worked. Then our daycare friend recommended pocket speech audible flashcards, and we saw immediate results. This encourages your child to talk more, form new words, and helps them develop speech through fun play. He's learning new vocabulary every day and building clear speech. And after having this for a few months, we've seen the language explosion that every parent was talking about. I've been waiting to have conversations with my child since he was born, and I'm so happy pocket speech helped us get there. If your child struggles with speech, you won't regret the virus. 
Okay, so that was the video. It did really well for this brand. And what I did is basically a checklist for everything you need to know when it comes to this. So let's start with the hook. Number one is there was an audience call out, nonverbal toddlers, all right? Everybody who has a nonverbal toddler is gonna keep watching this video. This is very relevant to them. And then there's also a problem awareness where we say we cured our nonverbal toddler. So everybody who's child doesn't speak yet, they're going to be like, oh my God, my child doesn't speak. Maybe that's an issue, right? And they're going to be like either a little worried or there's, they're going to just see there is a problem here. Okay. Then you also can clearly see the product. You just understand like something is going to happen. Um, and that's, it. Next, again, you double down on the problem awareness. You you start the storyline, basically the kid struggles to speak, then you just tell the whole story in the main part and explain everything. Slowly but surely, you start to introduce the product, and in this case, like in this ad I showed you, I thought it was introduced a little too late, so I would have done it a little bit earlier, but whatever. And uh, you introduce the product, then you show exactly what the product does and how this product is basically the solution for the problem, and then go through the benefits. Benefits. So he's learning new vocabulary, whatever the benefits are. And then it's very, very important to have a very clear call to action and some sort of offer where they get, again, free gift, free something, just extra things. All right. Very important, very straight to the point. This is not complicated at all. And the most important part is, again, it's very similar to the things I said in organic, that you have sound visual and text like everything just aligns you have the text which works instantly you see a kid it targets the people who have a child this is just relevant to your specific audience this is a little checklist which you can always go through basically does it hook your target audience in this case it does does it feel native it does does it hook for the right reason so does it hook the right people in and for the right reason a hundred percent is there a problem awareness is there a solution benefits product showcase offer and direct call to action. It's also very important, I forget to say, um, that you can, you literally have a link in there. You say, click the link below, shop now, something along those lines. When it comes to paid ads, the number one thing is the ad, all right? I'm not gonna give you any like specific CBO, ABO strategies on Facebook. This is not what's relevant. Everything works if you have a really good product and really good ad, it, it just does. So I would highly recommend to not focus on anything else and just focus on these two things alone. And again, you're gonna build that skill from organic. So as if you're starting out, by far the best thing you can do is start with organic and this is gonna be for later. I want to be fully transparent with you. This entire process is pretty difficult, all right? It's not just like, all right, I find a winning product, I make a website, I make a good video, and then I start paying paid ads, and then I'm rich. It's, this is just not how it goes. If it would be how it goes, then everybody would just do it, and it would be saturated, and then again, it wouldn't work. You basically have two paths here. Either you basically try to figure all of this just out, or you get a cheat code, which is... You have a team of experts who are looking over everything you do. So for example, you find products, you put them in the, in the sheet, and we just tell you which product is good and which one is bad. Just that cuts the entire learning curve like crazy. You don't even understand how valuable it is to, instead of testing 30 products, only test the best one. That's just ridiculously valuable, and you probably understand that. When it comes to the website, you just show it to us, and we tell you, what's good and what's bad, all right? We just tell you what to improve and how to make everything better. When it comes to the organic marketing, you just show us the videos, we tell you exactly what's bad about them, how to make sure that you do, do go viral, how to then take that virality and convert it into sales and just do the entire process with a cheat code. If you have a person who did this entire thing already hundreds of times and we did, like we did it so ridiculously often that it's a literal system. It's nothing that is connected to luck at all. If you just do exactly our system, you will make money. It's as simple as that. And when it comes to ads, obviously, it's it's literally the same thing. And look, there's hundreds of people on YouTube who tell you that they're the big e-com expert, they know everything, and they can teach you, right? You, you've you seen a bunch of these videos. I'm not the first video you ever saw about dropshipping. So you understand the whole space is filled with people who claim to be an expert. There's a very small amount of people who can just pull up their little Shopify Plus dashboard and just show you that every single month we make consistent six figures in profit 
just consistently. This is one of the stores which last month made two hundred seventy-two thousand dollars. And if I if I just go back in time after this refresh is done, um, it just is at that scale. This is not like a crazy month or whatever. And this is just one of the many stores we have. And again, because this is nothing crazy or nothing special to us, we consistently find new winning products. If I show you this other store, we literally started this like, how much? Seven days ago, something like that. And already we are at a 5k day today. Okay. Um, this is a very recent store. We just found this literally like seven days ago and it's already at $5,000 today. Now I'm not the only person using my system. There's a bunch of people using the same exact system and they consistently make it work. And we have a funny amount of testimonials. As you can see here, I can just keep scrolling forever. These are all like super long 20 minute case studies. You can just keep scrolling in this thing forever because the amount of people who make money with our stuff is ridiculous. If you want to become the next case study, make consistent 10, 20, 30K profit every single month, you can click the link below, sign up for a call. We're going to see if everything is a good fit and we're maybe going to start working together. This whole program is one-to-one, -one, all right? So we obviously can't accept every person into our program. So make sure that you actually put in a little extra time while putting in the application and you fill everything in properly. After you fill that in, our team is going to evaluate if you're a good fit and then we're going to have a free consultation session and we're just going to see if everything does work out. If yes, we're going to start. If no, then not. And I'm going to see you very, very soon.